Okay, what is important about stopping the system on a Unix machine? Remember, Unix systems used to be huge servers in universities, which people log into from remote locations or from terminals and work there at the same machine. So it was multi-user system. That was a magic those days. Even when Linux started in 92, it was a magic to have a PC computer which lets people to log in with different users at the same time, even from different terminals. So you may have a server with lots of people on it. Or you may have a server which is doing something important, I don't know, on a network, on a scientific calculations, whatever. You have a web server. People are connected to it, downloading something, checking pages. You cannot just turn it off. You should tell to your web server that I'm going off. Don't accept any new connection. Reject new connections and say you are going off, but answer to whoever is already connected to you. Or if you are in a university, you should say, uh, oh, all the users who are logged in, we are going down in 10 minutes, save your work. That's how it works. That's how a polite person, system admin, does its thing. As we spoke in Linux, processes do have a process ID. Kernel or other programs can send signals to this process ID. For example, if you send the signal 15, the process will know that I should go down. It will try to save its files, finish what it, whatever it is doing, do not accept new connections, and stop its activity. If you send, for example, signal 9, that would be a harsh kill. You would say, okay, closed. No time for closing file or whatever you are doing. It's more harsh. We will speak about signals later. But when you want to bring your system down, proper way is to first inform the users who are on your system that we are going down inform all the processes politely that i want to go down please close yourself so they would save their files close themselves then open themselves and will go down we have different commands for this which makes this easier on most linux systems we have three main commands Halt, which you know, brings down the processes, halts the activity of the CPU. Power off, which is like halt, but uses ACPI subsystem to power off the machine, power down the electricity to the machine. And reboot, which is like halt, but after going down, will start the CPU again from scratch. Some Older days, let's run Fedora. In older days, this might have been separate commands, but especially after system D and even with system five, these are links to system D. We can check this. In later chapters, we will see how the links works, but you can have an understanding now. Let the machine boot. I will give it my password. We downloaded the KDE version so this will be a KD machine we will run a terminal increase the font size sudo su now I'm root this is cooler I can say type halt say what's the type of halt because halt is user bin halt you can say okay give me a long list of user has been halt it says practically what you call user bin halt calls bin system ctl so it's using system ctl to what to do what it does same for shutdown reboot and other commands but in most commands you can use man to see what the command does you can do man shutdown it will show you the manual of the shutdown as you can see manual shutdown can halt power off or reboot the machine so this is the better choice we can because it can do whatever you need you don't need separated commands shutdown okay the command some options time 
and wall what to write on the wall of all the logged in people before shutting down this is cool and what is the options i'm showing you this part because it's very important if you can read the manuals you know all the linux the options can be dash h or dash dash halt halts the system dash p or dash dash power off power off the machine the default dash r reboots the machine dash uh, H, equivalent to power off unless halt is specified, whatever. No wall doesn't write anything on the wall. Also, for the time, you can use different formats. Let's try one. I can say shutdown. I want to reboot the machine in 10 minutes. It will reboot the machine after 10 minutes. And tell everyone, we are going down in... 10 minutes let me open another terminal to show you how fun is it i have another terminal so another login here and i can say shutdown dash r so reboot in 10 minutes write this on the wall of the people i get a notification here because i'm in a graphical mode also this logged in user got a broadcast message from root. We are going down in 10 minutes. This is what I told them. The system is going down for reboot at this time. This is so cool. I can cancel it. Shutdown dash C. Cancel the shutdown. Shutdown dash C. Cancel the shutdown. It got another wall. The system shutdown has can has been cancelled. As you can see, this is only a written string on the string. It doesn't do anything. If I have an ls dash and I get another shutdown message, this time for halt at 10.30, 10.40. It will say, okay, we are going down at 10.40. It doesn't get any notification because it's a long time in the future. So I can say shutdown. I can say wall. Hey, we will go down at 1040. This got the message. And I had an ls-h here. So I can just type the next part and it will work. So this was just going through the message. Whatever I had does not typing anything. Okay. And you saw a nice command, which was wall wall will send a message to all the users i can cancel the shutdown shutdown is cancelled this person got a wall message that shutdown is cancelled also you can say shutdown what happens if i want to halt the system right now i could say plus zero shutdown in zero minutes so we'll shut down now it's a small shortcut Shutdown dash H now. I won't press enter because this is not good. But I will say in, I won't say anything. Going down, dudes, says I need a time. Says, okay, in five minutes. Says going down, down dudes, and system shutdown planned for this. This command creates a file which called no login which tells the system do not accept any more logins. So if I want to connect to my machine, for example, using an SSH or another login method, it will ask the password and it says, system is going down. Unprivileged users are not permitted. Only root can log in from now on. So I can say shutdown dash C. All that this can be configured using different configurations, but you know enough and you can read the manual if interested so default is five seconds this is wrong uh everything is minutes dash h will halt dash r will reboot time can be like this or n minutes or now and you can say shutdown dash r plus five means now plus five minutes or just say five no difference or say now it also sends a wall message. You saw also the wall and you can cancel it like this. And, 
and this is also right dash t60 will delay 60 seconds between term polite terminal termination of the processes or seek kill and you have the halt power and everything also you learned about acpi acpi is a system which provides an open standard for operating system to discover and configure computer hardware components especially to perform power management so your operating system can send a signal to turn off the cpu physically or turn it on i wonder if there is a signal to turn something on anyway when before uh, acpi systems computer used to be like this you would shut down the computer this is windows xp it would turn whatever component it had down would stop all the processes would as the last thing it does would write on the lcd or monitor those days that's it's now safe to turn off your computer and you had to physically push a button and cut the power off to the case that was very very cool also you learned about the vol command to notify users if you are an admin technically this is not used anymore that much unless in a multi-user environment you can also have these files etc issues whatever you write there will be displayed on the tty terminal at login so you can if you have an issue you can write it here and whoever logins from a tty terminal from a terminal connected to your computer will see this you can edit this file issues.net and people who remotely connect to your system will see this i haven't seen these in action in a long time but there is a file etc motd this is message of the day whoever logs in will see the contents of this file okay you can edit this file say vi etc message of the day sometimes file is there sometimes it's not depends on your distro but you can say this is a fun computer enter at your own risk and save it when this file is saved whoever logs into your computer for example from a new terminal if i ssh to this computer or log in in any way and give the password that file will be shown so this is a fun computer enter at your own disk when you log into the computer sometimes you see this is a debian system this version blah 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 those are in this file nowadays it's a good practice i have seen this in many companies here they write that this is Jadi Corporation's computer. Do not enter if you don't have the right. Isn't it idiotic? No. Because when you go to the court for hacking that computer, you cannot claim, I didn't know what is it. I just tried something and logged in somewhere and I was going to see what is this. They can say that we explicitly told you this is Jadi Corporation's computer. Do not enter so you are a criminal ha. you saw the vol command vol command sends a message for all the users there is a command which is called message which configures if you should get vol commands or not because if you are working in a multi-user environment it used to be a nasty habit of people i don't tell you who they used to say wall hey you are hacked and every person in the university would get this message and they would panic or they would say well professor blah blah is an idiot and everybody on the system would get this from jody at fedora don't do this it's dangerous anyway so people are able to control their wall messages if i say message yes it means i want to accept wall messages and i can say message it would say your message is yes so you will receive wall messages i can say message no and then if i do a message i would say message is no so you won't accept messages i will still get them i believe 
this is the a uh, little bit complicated i'm also not sure 100 percent why is that first i am jody and i'm sending two jody so i may get it also this world is not being used that much anymore and on the second part some programs can bypass this message configurations for example if you are shutting down the system you are root people will see your wall anyway just know about this message command i believe you won't see it anymore in your life and that's it we have a who command which shows who is logged into the system if you go with who with dash t it will show you jody's message is on in this terminal jody's message is done where he's logged in here because all i have all these logins this jody has turned this off this plus and minus will show the wall message status anyway hope you enjoyed it hope you won't try the wall command don't and that's it let's go for the next chapter please subscribe tell your friends these are free i'm enjoying them for sure but i would be glad to earn some money from advertisement thank you terms and applied whatever they say at the end of their videos have fun